Hello and welcome, my name is Chris Atkinson. One of the most common questions I get asked is, if I don't have a macro lens, how can I take macro shots without buying a new lens? Well, there's two perhaps cheaper options that you can start with to try out to see if you like macro photography. First option is to use a uh, two times telephoto converter. This one's just a cheap Jessup's one, nothing special. Picked up fairly cheap, second hand. Another option is to use uh, focusing tubes. These ones are Jessup's ones. They've got electrical contacts running through them, which allows the um, camera to meter for exposure through there. You can get cheap ones that don't have electrical contacts, but then you'll have to be more careful how you expose through your camera. The main reason for using focusing tubes is to magnify the subject in your viewfinder. This is done by allowing you to focus more closely to the subject than you normally can with the lens. You'll notice there's three particular ones here, and the bigger they are, the more increased magnification you'll get. I'm going to use a 21mm focusing tube in the example I'm going to show you, because I'm going to use a fairly close focusing lens anyway, so 17 to 40, and I have to be fairly close to get the uh, exposure there. The subject I'm going to take in this example is this particular flower here. This time I'm using the uh, focusing tubes. Now the key with taking without any flash or anything is to set your ISO to a, uh, an acceptable level. I've set it to 320 and I've got a fairly low aperture. I'm choosing about 7.1 on here. This enables me to shoot handheld and a fairly sharp image. I'll probably also hold the uh, flower just to steady it while I'm taking it. Now a key thing with focusing tubes and with a lot of macro work is, is not to, to focus using your autofocus button but to actually get the thing focusing closely as you can and then move in and out of the subject to get the focus. So I'm going to try first of all the uh, extension tubes on, move in, the subject's roughly in focus, take the shot. Sometimes it's helpful to steady the camera like that. So I move backwards and uh, forwards until I attain focus. Once it's there, hold it steady and shoot. This time I'm going to use the two times converter here. With this one, I'm going to. You can use the zoom a bit to adjust the composition. In effect, what it does is not enabling you to get closer, but by magnifying the image two times in the viewfinder achieves the same sort of effect. Here I'm fairly close to the subject. Focusing techniques is the same. Moving in and out to find the sharp point and then shoot. Right, lastly, just so you can, like we can compare it, I'm going to use a Canon 100mm macro lens. Take the same sort of subject. Again, setting it to the magnification I want. Because it's 100mm, I'm slightly further away, you'll notice this time achieves the subject's focus, once it's sharp, again a shot. 